Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we're going to take a look at some of the ticker symbols that were in play today. Okay, first up, let's take a look at CLVS. Um, as you can see here, it closed up 46%. Huge move. Uh, RSI and FASTO are at overbought levels. We've got a big spike on plus DI here. Uh, it, notice that, that today's close it was at a 52-week uh, high close. Um, did hit a new 52-week high today. Uh, a, a Doji did form well above the upper Bollinger Band. So yeah, I wanted to show you this chart to show you the uh, the, the, the big gap up open and, and, and the, the, the very strong uh, close. So uh, Also notice how it was on a very large volume spike. Uh, notice it was the largest volume day since back in October. So huge volume behind the move. Um, let, let's take a look here at a uh, closer look at the daily chart. And, and you can see here the, the doji that formed. You know that signals indecision. Uh, if the candles do work back into the bands, the, the EMA4 will be the first support level down here at 71. Uh, you know, that's lining up with this high close. That, that's where the, uh, the upper Bollinger Band's currently at 73. Uh, you know, uh, the, the candles like to work back into the bands. So, uh, you know, if that happens, uh, look for support off of that level. Big volume behind the move, like I said. Uh, if you uh, look here at the next chart, this is the CLVS weekly chart. And you can see here, if it starts heading higher, the, the, the big uh, key level to break is going to be the top of this gap. So there's a gap back here in uh, November of... 2015 this is the top of the gap and then this is the bottom of the gap and so the gap uh, it, ha it was has been in the process of being filled and, and uh, currently with this big gap up open it, it's close to the top of the gap level so that's in this uh, 95 to, to one dollar level or one the the 95 to 100 dollar level and, and so if uh, you, the share price heads higher look for possible resistance at this key level if it closes above and turns that level into support, then it could push higher and you could be talking about a potential run up here to uh, what is this 115 so that would be the ultimate uh, high close from back in September 2015 notice this is a super strong uptrend this has just been a beautiful chart uh, the, the the big gap open is signaling that this very strong uptrend is still intact so the candles are back above the, the middle Bollinger Band notice how they're below before uh, th this is a strong uptrending channel it was bouncing off the bottom of the channel and, and if you look here th this 115 level is lining up with the top of the channel so yeah that the, it, uh, if it breaks above 95, gets above 100, you could see a run up to 115. You know, there's been good volume. If you look down here on uh, MACD, you'll see a nice uh, bullish crossovers. So, so there's there's a bullish crossover here uh, on uh, both time frames, and there was one just uh, uh, start starting this week. And, and so this is a weekly chart, so this candle will not set until the uh, closing bell on Friday, so keep that in mind. That there was a, a PSR bull flip last, last week. So this is all signaling a bullish change in trend. So yeah, so keep an eye on CLVS, and we'll see if it can continue heading higher. Okay, let's take a look at DCTH. Closed up uh, 99th percent today. That was an excellent move. Congrats to everyone. Uh, yeah, this, this uh, you know, many times uh, no reverse split turns out to be uh, a catalyst to run higher. So congrats everyone. Uh, th this is uh, uh, currently above 70. So now overbought levels on, on both RSI and FASTO. FASTO uh, is maxed at 100. So it closed at 98.71. So that's nearly maxed. So it's at temporarily overbought levels. Uh, what's going on in the chart here is, is the uh, uh, gap up open. So there's a there's a gap between high of day on Friday and low of day uh, today, and so that that's the two green lines here. So on a pullback, if it does pull back, uh, the, the key level to hold would be the uh, uh, top of the gap in uh, EMA four at zero point seven one. The EMA four is is going to be lining up with the, the the top of the gap. If that breaks, you could see a gap fill. The bottom of the gap is down here at zero point zero six zero. Okay, for heading higher, the, the the key level now is the hundred day simple moving average. It's been coming down. It was at thirteen. Now it's at zero point one zero eight. So that's going to be the big level tomorrow. <clears throat> this was uh, 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 DCTH was heading higher and after hours trading so I, I believe it closed at 12 um, in after hours trading today so that there, there could be another gap up open and so there could be a gap above the the uh, 
uh, 100 day simple moving average. So you'd want to see that level hold and a close above that level tomorrow and that turn into support to signal a breakout higher. You know, keep an eye on, on uh, 15. It will, will be a big level. Um, it, it, notice how, how th this was in a very long downtrend and there wasn't a lot of uh, support on the drop. So so there's not going to be a ton of resistance on, 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 the, on the way up. There's going to be some horizontal resistance, but not a ton. If you can get through 15, notice that, that the 100 or the 200 day simple moving average is way up here at 110. So there's huge upside implications if the 100 day simple moving average can turn into support. So yeah, so the the, the big uh, key that, that this is, uh, you know, has more upside potential is the big volume bar. N notice that there was big volume uh, before this move. There's been huge volume behind this play. As long as the volume continues uh, and support holds and resistance breaks, that there should be more upside potential. Keep in mind, though, that gaps do fill in penny land and that that this the, the gap between these two candles was filled. It pulled back and filled the gap and then it headed higher. So it, it, if the 100 day simple moving average turns into resistance and, and, and it does pull back, always look for the gap fill as the, as the reload level. Okay, take a look here at the 15 minute chart and, and you can see here where, where it broke out end of day. So that was a really nice breakout. Uh, the, the open, the, the, uh, the close close at the 15 minute close on the first candle uh, on the opening candle today on this 15 minute chart was the high close going into end of day and so that was the key level to break notice it hit here at, at 12 15 and it failed to break and then right here at three o'clock when, when, when the, the, the high close horizontal resistance level broke, it was the top of the sideways channel. That was signaling more upside potential, and it broke out and it ran all the way up to 10. So that, that was a nice uh, way, way to close. No, notice how the, the middle Bollinger Band held. Um, that, that was, uh, you know, that's exactly what Bulls wanted to see. They didn't want to see the middle Bollinger Band break and turn into resistance. Um, DCTH was uh, forming a black candle on the daily chart. To uh, start the day, as it uh, sold off here and pulled back, uh, th this black candle was forming. You know, then it turned into a doji. You know, and it was holding in this black candle uh, doji range, where it was looking like an indecision candle, and it and it might uh, set up for a, a candle that that would indicate that it wants to pull back. You know, and then it broke out into the day. You know, forming a white candle, and so now you know with big volume, the big volume came in. And so that is signaling that it does have more upside potential. Notice that there was a really light volume before the the, the, the push higher at end of day. And, and, you know the sellers and the and the, and the buyers tired, and, and it was either going to be a breakdown and and uh, you know a red volume spike or, or a green volume spike and a push higher. And, and the bulls you know took control and, and they took it to the next level. So now uh, what bulls want to see is they want to see uh, the candles continue riding EMA for support. That would be the most bullish. As long as the middle Bollinger Band continues to hold, the, the chart is not broken and the signal is to continue riding. So yeah, so congrats to everyone. This was a nice play. We'll see if it can follow through and uh, get through that 100-day uh, simple moving average and turn it into support. Okay, let's take a look at MYO. Okay, this is the IPO play. Uh, congrats again on this one. Uh, you know, closed up 33% today. Very nice move. Uh, you, you know, it had the, the the gap up open, and you know, and, and this was forming a doji at the open as well. And then and then it pushed it, it pushed higher and it, and it got moving. And, and so now it's got the uh, two candles here. Uh, um, above the gap level. If you remember back here, there was the gap um, down here uh, around nine. And, and so, uh, you know, with the IPO type of play where, where there's no uh, history on the chart to, to look for uh, past resistance levels, uh, what, what, what's best to do is to follow the, the intraday charts. And, and so what we are looking for uh, was a break today above the, the this is a 15 minute chart. And we were looking for a break above the, the closing price at 3 o'clock on Friday. And, and that happened on uh, the, the candle here at, let's see, right here at, uh, what is this, at 1145. So this white candle here, when it broke above above the, the high close resistance, that was signaling more upside potential. And that led to the breakout to the uh to the 22-23 level. And, and so that was a really nice move. The, the share price did pull back. 
and it and it's it, it's uh, whole, you know uh, finding support in this middle Bollinger Band level, and that's what you want to see hold tomorrow. You know, as long as the middle Bollinger Band holds, there should be more upside potential. Uh, no, notice it it, it it held on on Friday, and then it held Monday, and and then continued heading higher. And, and so 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 far, the middle Bollinger Band's been holding. There's a, a close below that level uh, today, and so if it turns into resistance, you could see a drop down here to see the, the 50 simple moving average tested. So if it breaks back above, then you could see a run back up to 23. So keep an eye on that level tomorrow. Um, also keep in mind that that there uh, you know was this uh, was a doji that that formed here at, at, at one o'clock, and that was signaling uh, downside risk after a big run. You know there there was a big volume spike. Notice the big volume spike down here at the top. Yeah, okay, so that that looked like a possible climax spike on this run, and, and so that you know we'll, we'll keep, keep an eye on it. We'll see if the uptrend can continue. You know, the best thing to do is to to follow the intraday charts to uh, signal uh, when when it's time to uh, go to the sidelines and look for a reload lower. Okay, check out CYTR. This had a, a really nice move today. Uh, Fasto is, is uh, heating up, and then you have RSI here, which crossed back above 50, and it's in the bull zone at 56. There was a bullish crossover uh, on Fasto, and, and, and what we want to see is Fasto back above 50. That would be a signal that, that the uh, bulls are taking control, and the chart is heating up as well. Uh, we want to see the black line cross the red line to the upside. They are pinched right now, so if ADX crosses minus DI, that's going to be another uh, signal that the chart is strengthening. Uh, the, the bullish move today was the close above the middle Bollinger Band. That was the key level to break. Uh, the the uh, 63 is the current level for the middle, middle Bollinger Band, the dotted purple line. So as long as that level holds, uh, the, uh, a new uptrend should begin. And so uh, it, you know, it had been the sideways channel, and, and it looked like it could possibly be starting the downtrend. But but now, if it's if it can turn this middle Bollinger Band into support, and it can hold that level, it could possibly uh, you know uh, continue with a with a nice uptrend. The key level to break is going to be the bottom of this gap at 72. That's going to be a big resistance level. So uh, it, it's, if it can break above that, then it might. Uh, Quickly fill the gap up to 78. That's the top of the gap. It's the bottom of, of this candle on the second. And then the, the top of the candle on the fifth is the bottom. And so look for 72 as a big resistance level tomorrow. You know, if it gets above 78, then you're looking at the top of the gap and the closing price on the 30th. That is the big key level. If it can get past the closing price on the 30th, then it, then it could possibly break out to dollar land. But first things first, it needs to break the bottom of the gap level. Uh, notice volume is picking up. There was a crossover today, a bullish crossover on the 8, 13, and 5 time frame. Keep an eye on the 12, 26, and 9. It is pinched. If it crosses over, that will signal uh, a, a possible new uptrend starting. Uh, if you take a look here at the 15-minute chart, this is another uh, stock that broke out end of day. It, you could see this. It had... You know, had this nice run from the from the the low of day. You know, and it, and it hit the high here. It, it consolidated sideways, and and then the break above the the the, the closing price on, on on this candle here signaled more upside potential. It broke out higher on, on big volume spikes, so it closed extremely strong today. So the bulls were you know closed right near high of day. There's only a small upper wick. And so, uh, yeah, so keep an eye on it for more upside potential. You know, it, 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 th th this is a close above all the moving averages. So, you know, you've got the 200, the 300, the 100, the 50, the middle Bollinger Band, which is also the 20 days uh, simple moving average. Or on here, it's the 20 simple moving average because it's the 15 minute chart. But then you have EMA 13, the, the uh, EMA 8 and EMA4. So it closed above all the moving averages. So this is super strong. As long as it's riding EMA4 support higher, you know, the chart can't get much stronger. If you look here at the weekly chart, you could see here on the CYTR weekly chart that, that it's turning the 50-week the moving average into support. That's the green line here. And the candles are forming above the middle Bollinger Band. So the, 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 this does have a nice uptrend going. We really like it for uh, swing trades when Candles are forming above the 50-week moving average and the middle Bollinger Band on the weekly chart and, and bullish at the same time on the daily chart. That's when you've got a nice uptrend, and, and that's when things happen when you could possibly get a run uh, up to the 100-day uh, simple moving average at 157. Notice there was a big drop down here. So if it gets above the, the, this close here, just above 80, there's not a whole lot of resistance. So keep an eye on CYTR seeding up. 
Um, take a look at NIHD. Uh, th this had a nice bounce today. Um, our size of back in the, the uh, 50 to uh, 70 bull zone. There was a bullish crossover on fast o. Now it's back above 20. You know, that's a bull signal when it, when it drops below 20 and then goes uh, and then the uh, fast o crosses back above 20. It, 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 so today, uh, w w what happened after multiple uh, red candles? Uh, the, there were eight red candles in a row, and, and then today a, a white candle formed. There was a nice bounce. You know, uh, uh, this was an, an engulfing candle, and, and and there was a close today above the the middle Bollinger band, and that's what we were looking for. So so there was a close above the middle Bollinger band, and, and then we what we want to see is the 50-day simple moving average currently at 75, the green line. We want to see that level break. The, the, the upper wick on, on today's candle broke that level, but it failed to close above. So we want to see it close above that level, and that will signal a breakout higher, and 85 will be on deck. Okay, so, so yeah, to, to be able to push higher and to keep this uptrend going, it has to close above the 50-day simple moving average. If it fails to break that level, that's going to signal downside risk. Uh, no, notice, uh, you know, there was a big volume uh, on, on uh, Friday, the giant volume spike. You know, and and there was just uh, you know modest volume today, and, and, and so what you you don't want to see is a is a sell off and a big uh, volume spike, a, a big red volume spike. Okay, so let's check out. Uh, let me see here. It was gonna look at. The, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So yeah, let's check out this uh, next chart here. Okay, this is uh, CGI. CGI it has had a very nice run. Okay, it had multiple white candles in a, in a row last week, and, and, and there was a close above the 50-day simple moving average on Friday. Now, now the the uh, what we what we want to see now is we want to see that level hold. We want to see uh, you know that level turn into support, and if it does, th then it could run up and and uh, finish filling the gap, which the ultimate level is 280, which is the bottom of the candle here uh, on, on the first trading day of May, and, and, and so a, a black candle did form today. And and the uh, share price did close at, at the, uh, the, the the same price as uh, the closing price on Friday. Notice how it was not up on the day. And so this did form a bearish median line reversal pattern. And so uh, we'll see here if this uh, reversal pattern gets confirmed and, and the uh, share price pulls back. It's all going to depend on holding uh, the 50-day the simple moving average. If that level holds in EMA4, then this very strong uptrend will be intact. That's currently at 287 and 293. And then if those levels break, you could see consolidation and a possible drop down to EMA13 or maybe even the, the, the uh, middle Bollinger Band, which is lined up with the top of the previous sideways channel. But for this chart to be really strong, it would be best if, if EMA4 in the 50-day simple moving the average holds. If that happens, then we're still looking for a potential gap fill. So keep an eye on it. A close above or a close below uh, the 50 day simple moving average in EMA4 will be a red flag signaling downside risk. Okay. Thank you very much for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, please check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.